There are two types of skin assessments that you should be familiar with. The first is skin condition. Normal, oily, sensitive, dry, combination. It is assumed that you understand these conditions and can assess them without assistance. However, the next level of skin analysis requires using two other categories of typing that you may not be intimately familiar with at this time. One, skin typing. Two, aging analysis. Evaluating the skin's condition is important, but does not give you the information that is required for performing advanced treatments, such as microdermabrasion, chemical peels, or laser resurfacing. No two clients will respond to the treatment the same. In fact, the same client will not respond the same in subsequent treatments. Consequently, as a professional esthetician, it is critical that you understand how individual skin types react to various treatments and which skin types will tolerate aggressive treatment and which require caution. History of Skin Typing Many years of clinical research and study have shown that there are factors that regularly and consistently impact on the skin's response to injury. They include genetics, eye color, hair color, ethnic background, true skin color. From these factors, the Fitzpatrick Classification Scale was developed in 1975 by Harvard Medical School dermatologist Dr. Thomas Fitzpatrick, MD, PhD which is now most commonly known as Fitzpatrick skin typing. To treat the diseases that interested him, a protocol was developed to quantify the amount of UVA exposure in the treatment of psoriasis and vitiligo. This scale classifies a client's complexion and their tolerance of sunlight. It is perhaps the most widely used skin typing classification applied today to predict response to a variety of therapies, from microdermabrasion to laser resurfacing. Fitzpatrick skin typing is essential to assist the esthetician in determining if a client is at a greater risk of scarring or pigmentation problems after treatment.